Ah, uh, Lego. Who doesn't love Lego? I dare you to find one person out there who doesn't love Lego. And honestly, they've really taken over our entire world. They're not only our toys anymore, they're also our movies, our video games, our clothes, our watches, our mugs, our... Bible? What is this? All this to say, Lego is kind of a big deal. It's been around for a long time, and I remember countless hours when I was little spent building stuff that sounded way cooler in my head than turned out in real life. I mean, honestly, how many kids started out with the coolest idea for the coolest Lego thing ever and then ended up building a square house? A square house? There are the more popular themes like Star Wars, Marvel, DC, and the ever-present city and creator themes. Then there's also those themes. Oh, what the heck is that? Is that a Lego or is that Barbie? Is that a Star Wars? Is that a Star Wars? No, seriously, what am I even looking at? Oh, this is pretty. I like this look. Oh, and the cute little house and the... Fabuland? Fabuland? That's the best you could come up with? Fa Fabuland? Fabuland. What is this? Miners, the Lego theme? Why do all these people look like people I don't want to meet in a dark alley? Just look at those faces. One of the weirder decisions that LEGO made was back in the early 2000s when they released their Jackstone theme. While it comes off as a typical LEGO City type predecessor, they made the weird choice to make the minifigures one piece. This meant you couldn't change out their shirts, pants, faces, etc. to customize your own minifigure. You got this, and you were stuck with it. Don't like his face? Too bad that's his face. And why do they have noses? Like, look at this. Noses. Hashtag not my minifigure. Despite never owning any Jack Stone sets or really having any attachment to him when I was little, I do remember this. A free promotional videotape that LEGO released alongside the Jack Stone sets that showed off just who and what Jack Stone was. This was the world's introduction to the greatest hero of all time, Jack Stone. So why don't you sit back, relax, and go on this nostalgia trip with me as we discover what makes Jack Stone such a great hero. We start off the film with the important reminder that this is a fictional work. So I know we were all really sweating that this kid's videotape from the early 2000s was going to be based on a true story. What's this say at the bottom? Public showing of this video is prohibited. Well, let's just skip over that part, nothing to see. Ah, oh, the classic LEGO logo that played before all their old promotional videos and video games. Oh, that takes me back. The temptation to turn this off and just go play Lego Island right now is almost unbearable. In this whirlwind of an intro, we're introduced to the title character and protagonist of the film, Jack Stone. Jack Stone's short-lived line of Lego sets centered around Jack Stone, a general do-gooder who was able to use his surroundings to solve problems and save lives. As we're about to see, he was truly the only competent person in all of Lego City. And here we get our first look at the Jackstone version of Lego minifigures. And I don't know if I mentioned this already, but... Noses. Noses! Lego, what were you thinking? Hello, I'm Bob Stewart. Hi, Bob. With a Lego News Special Report, today we're saluting one of our city's finest citizens, Jack Stone. But first, let's go to Rory Lines, our man on the street, to find out what you, the public, have to say about this amazing guy. He saved my little Daisy from a flood! I love Jack Stone! I love Jack Stone! So there you have it, folks. There's a name on everyone's lips, and the name is Jack Stone. And to tell us more about our hero is our intrepid harbor rescue chief, Robbie Hardman. Robbie? Yeah, hi there. Well, everyone has at least one Jack Stone story. Yeah, that's that's right, Bob. So what's yours? Uh, yeah. I feel like this would be me in a TV interview give as little information as possible, and just sit there awkwardly in silence. Robbie, I relate to you. It was a beautiful day. The crowd were loving the parade. Everyone I'm sorry, but are all these dudes exactly the same? This begs so many questions. Are they related? Is this like an octuplet? Twelve tuplet kind of thing? Or maybe it's like that Twilight Zone episode, where there are only so many different body types, and those men have all the exact same body, like they're number 12 or something. We're only a couple minutes in, and I already have so many questions about the lore and logistics of LEGO City.
By now, there were lives at stake, and the water kept rising. Lower. Your tax dollars at work, Lego people. Aw yeah, check out that rescue boat. If I were gonna put my faith in anything to pull through and save the day, it'd be this guy. Look at him. He looks ready to risk life and limb to find a solution and save the- That's it, we're stuck! It was pretty tough down there. Oh. Oh. But then, we remembered. When in doubt, shout! Can do, will do. And sure enough, Whoa! It's Jack Stone! And of course, the classic cartoon catchphrase. Apparently, all you need to do to summon Jack Stone is just shout his catchphrase. So is he just hanging around on the rooftops waiting to be needed? And if he was within earshot to hear their message and show up like two seconds later, does that mean he was just waiting around for someone to ask for his help specifically? Why was he just watching the destruction of the city and doing nothing about it up to this point? Was he just sitting up there hanging out like, well, I'm gonna wait until they need me? Well, what do you know? Pretty soon, our rescue boat was a heli boat. A what? A heli boat. A heli boat. A heli boat. Well, Jack rescued everybody with the heli boat. Well, apparently not everybody. It looks like only two of the 12 tuplets were able to make it out alive. After each segment, they always replay the highlights and show where Jack Stone got the inspiration for his build. I remember really enjoying this part when I was little because I'd always try to guess what was going to be the inspiration for Jack Stone's build. And I could never figure it out. Even though I watched the same tape over and over. I was a dumb kid. Incredible! Fantastic! Later, of course, Jack went and fixed the water tower. But that's another story. Was it more interesting than your last story? Because, Robbie, I really gotta save it. Well, bud, the police do a great job for our city. But from time to time, even you have called on Jack Stone. Oh, sure. Remember the prison breakout? Oh, that. Step on it. Oh yeah, here we go. We're finally getting into some real action here. A car chase. I bet this is going to be super epic. Uh, car four, after them, car five. Oh uh, yeah, there's some escaped convicts on the loose. Suppose we should maybe do something about that. Okay, that was kind of cool. I at least feel like they're trying here. I repeat, your tax dollars at work, Lego people. Can't we just use a hell boat again? I mean, that was pretty cool. Uh, there's one. So, are you gonna do something about it, or...? Everyone down! It's okay, I'll fly it, don't worry about it! Easy enough on TV. I'm seriously starting to wonder about that Twilight Zone theory. When in doubt, shout! Can do, will do! We're done! Don't look down, it's bad luck! It's, it's Jack Stone! Jack Stone! Jack Stone! Jack Stone! Jack Stone! Where there's a problem, there's a solution. Can do, will do. Can do, will do. Can do, will do. Now look what you've done. All together now. I'm sorry. What's what's happening here? Go! Oh, oh, yeah, what a guy. Oh. So many questions. Like, so many questions. I feel like it should be my job to explain what's going on here, but honestly, I don't even care. Just look at him work. Problem, inspiration, action. Right on the money. 
Oh yeah, a fishing pole. It all makes sense now. I think one of my favorite parts of this video is just a random chatter in the background. You can just tell when they were making this video that they just threw some people into a recording studio and just told them to ad-lib a bunch of stuff. It's hilarious. Can do. Will do. Done. I honestly think that's my favorite part of this movie. A very warm welcome to the city fire chief, Ron Flame. Hello, Bob. But across town... Ah, uh, the way they piece this lady's voice clips together is just awful. Just, just listen. Wait a minute, wasn't this the lady from the boat earlier? Seriously, this lady's a magnet for disaster. They called us, but like I said, we had no more men. When in doubt, shout! Can do? Will do! Not only is her house on fire, if she doesn't pee soon, she is going to explode. Still needs to pee. But I still need to pee. It was Jack Stone who saved the day. And those are the eyes of someone you need to get a restraining order against, like now. You know what they say, Bob, if you can't take the water to the fire. Uh, take the uh, water, fire the water. Fire to the water, Bob. I love this fireman. He's not putting up with any of Bob's garbage. Ah, uh, you can take a building to water, but you can't make it drink, huh, Chief? Fire is never a laughing matter, Bob. This guy. I love this guy. This is breaking news! We have a real problem here, folks. It seems someone is stuck out on the frozen harbor. We can see him. What exactly happened? Well, he shouldn't have gone skating out there because the ice is starting to break. Watch out for the... No, 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 no bridge, no, no. In this face, this is the face of a guy who just lost faith in his entire city and probably public service as a whole. Kind of like me right now. Nearly there, but we can't seem to make any progress. You know, if you had like a hella boat or something. Too short. Even the bird here is embarrassed for these workers. When you have nature itself embarrassed by the very sight of your city, it's time to take a long, hard look at the people running this place. Everybody seems to love Jack Stone. Why not just make him the mayor and make him fix everything? He already does. It's Jack Stone! And his trademark neck twitch. It's very cold out here, and the ice is really, really icy! See, even the news reporters are incompetent. Is the only competent person in this entire movie Jack Stone? He's picked up the long thing with steps, uh, the ladder. <laughs> Seriously, Jack, hear me out. This town does not deserve you. Move away. Just leave. Let this town collapse in its own ignorance. They don't deserve you. We'll try to get closer! <laughs> what do you think he's doing? Jack activated oh. pogo stick. It's a fish uh, rocket. Uh, 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 a cow tipper. A cow tipper. Cow tipper. Oh my goodness, what a vehicle! This really does seem like the most practical solution, though. It's Jack Stagoon! Eh, climbing animations are hard. 
all the more amazing since it happened just moments before a special award ceremony to honor the very man you've been watching save the day. Seriously, this town has an unhealthy obsession and an unhealthy reliance on Jack Stone. Seriously, Jack, I'm starting to worry for you. Restraining orders, moving away, just dude, do something. Yes, we're at City Hall, where the ceremony is about to begin. And our latest addition to incompetent people on LEGO City. And finally, we meet the mayor, the leader of this fine city and its great many people. Now, I don't want to just cast all the blame on the town on this one man, because I feel like really everybody's responsible. But please, dude, can't you at least try to do something? Also, the only reason this lady is here is because later they're honoring her with the coveted Most Time Saved by Jack Stone Because She's Utterly Worthless Award. Another restraining order, dude. Another restraining order. We salute you, Jack Stone! And that's Jack Stone. I feel like this is a movie that you can really take in one of two ways. Either this is just a free kids movie. It's just a free pack-in with the sets to try and sell more bricks. It's just there for kids to show a role model and show how they're supposed to be heroes in everyday city life. Or it's a desperate plea from our protagonist, Jack Stone, for help. Maybe he's trying to get out, but he can't. Maybe he feels trapped. Maybe it's like Stockholm Syndrome. Maybe he feels imprisoned by this town because of their own incompetency, that he has to stay. If he leaves, they'll all just die. He always feels compelled to stay, always compelled to fix every single problem that this town may ever have. And for good reason. Nobody else is gonna stop it if not for him. He's gotta be the one to fix every single problem in the entire town, and that's just not okay. I, for one, find this to be the more likely scenario. I think this is a real problem that needs to be addressed. I think Jack needs our help. Jack, if you're listening, it's going to be okay. In the words of a great man I once knew, Where there's a problem, there's a solution. Jack, you have a problem, and there is a solution. Cow tipper.